What's up everybody? Welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on SoFi stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we caught this movement to the downside, during which uh, this asset lost about 12% of its value. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you why we have this massive uh, sell-off and when it might end. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you one bullish pattern for the swing trader's position. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point uh, and I've told you that my main assumption was that we should have a retracement right after this movement to the upside that had a five wave structure and because of this we had uh, the A wave uh, pretty much completed, B wave pretty much completed, but the C wave wasn't completed at all. And this means that we had to have a movement to the downside that should retest the lower range of support at roughly 4.76 or 77 dollars. And because of this assumption, as you can see, I was absolutely right and we had this movement to the downside that found first range of support right here, as you can see. This is uh, several points where we had the reaction from the $4.81 mark. We had first reaction, then this asset broke it to the downside, had the second reaction from uh, this range of support, that was uh, the price action from uh, the beginning of May 2022. And it broke it eventually, and right now we are hovering at all-time lows for this asset. Definitely it is quite a better sign, but I will show you in my technical analysis with that we also have some bullish signs in the short-term perspective. So, and let's continue with the fundamental news. What was the reason of this harsh sell-off? Let me show you this article. It was published on November 22nd and it says Biden administration extends payment pause on student loan debt. And let me quote you key bullets. Uh, the Biden administration announced that it will extend the payment pause on federal student loans while its forgiveness plan remains blocked in the courts. Federal student loan bills were scheduled to resume in January. The administration's uh, move uh, comes in response to a federal appeals court ruling last week that imposed a nationwide injunction on the debt relief plan. And let me quote you this. We are extending the payment pause because it would uh, be deeply unfair to ask borrowers to pay a debt that they wouldn't have to pay, were it not for the uh, baseless lawsuits brought by Republicans' officials and special interests, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona said in a statement. And definitely, uh, it is quite uh, bearish news uh, for the SOFI in the short-term perspective. But in the long-term perspective, uh, I think uh, it cannot affect uh, this uh, asset, uh, I mean SOFI, in a massive way. And let me show you what uh, did SOFI answer to this uh, in situation. We are on SOFI's official Twitter page and let me quote to this. As you probably heard, uh, the moratorium on federal student loans has been extended. It's a lot to follow, so we are here to help break it down for you. The US Department of Regulation stated that because the student loan forgiveness plan was temporarily blocked in court, this delay led to another extension of the payment pause. What happened? Multiple lawsuits were filed against forgiveness. One argues that Biden overstopped uh, his authority in announcing the debt relief plan, and another argues that uh, it will be harmed by lost tax revenue. Courts subsequently issued orders blocking the program. When do payments resume? The exact date is unclear. If the student loan forgiveness plan is approved to resume before June 30, 2023, payments will begin 60 days after it is implemented. If it doesn't happen before June 30, 2023, payments will begin 60 days after June 30. What happens now? The case for student loan forgiveness will go through the courts, possibly making its way to the Supreme Court. We know this uh, leaves money in limbo, and it is difficult to manage uh, your money without a clear picture. We will keep uh, sharing updates as they come. And let me show you another summary. Uh, the extension of the moratorium is exactly what SOFI shareholders didn't want because it removes the clarity that would have uh, helped borrowers decide whether or not they should refinance. SOFI could see its uh, full-year outlook impacted, but Biden's move will likely result in lower revenue and adjusted EBITDA for the lender that analysts uh, had been projecting for 2023. 
And uh, given that, federal borrowers won't have to make uh, any payments until 60 days after the moratorium ends. The resumption of payments could in actuality be delayed through August, depending on when the Supreme Court rules. Coupled with the news Monday that members of the Senate Banking Committee were urging regulators to investigate SOFI's crypto activities, I definitely think uh, this uh, stock uh, could be for a tough time in the near term. And definitely it might be a very long consolidation phase on a lower levels uh, from the technical standpoint. So, and because of this news, uh, we can see uh, that uh, two analytic firms already lowered its price target. It is uh, Wheatbush and Mizuho, and uh, they filed uh, these uh, updates on November 23rd. And uh, they lowered their price target from $8 to $6 and from $7 to $6 respectively. But uh, they set uh, the rating to outperform and to buy. This means uh, this asset still has an upside potential of uh, about 28 to 29%. And this means uh, in a medium term perspective uh, from 6 to 12 months, definitely this might be quite interesting position as a long term holders. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, definitely we broke uh, this range of support at $4.76 mark and uh, we are hovering right below this range. Probably we will retest this range and depending on the price action right uh, next to this line, we will have uh, the next uh, leg that will show us the potential direction of uh, its movement. But let me show you one bullish sign. If uh, we take a look uh, on uh, the RSI, as you can see right here, we have higher lows on RSI with the lower lows on the price action. And this is a bullish divergence. And bullish divergence is, a, is the sign where we can have a trend reversal, at least on hourly time frame. This means that we have to see a bounce to the upside that probably hit uh, some higher targets. And you might wonder, what are these targets? And uh, because of uh, this harsh movement to the downside, without any major retracements, we can pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to its lowest point so far and we have about uh, $4.54 as the lowest range and if uh, it is the case and uh, definitely we can see that uh, the bounce uh, might be at the, the ranges of uh, $5.95 it is almost the confluence with the round number of $5 mark and also it is the confluence let me make it a bit longer with this uh, previous price action and probably it might be the range of support so, definitely this bounce is very possible, but let me show you that the risk to reward ratio from this very point is not so lucrative. If we will take a look on the risk to reward ratio, it might be, let me show it to you, not more than 1.73 to 1. And this means it doesn't uh, make sense uh, to catch this trade from this very point. But if we will see the next leg to the up to the downside that will confirm the uh, next potential movement that won't uh, break uh, these uh, previous bottoms and we will still have uh, higher, high, higher lows on our side with the lower lows on the price action. Definitely it will confirm and it will uh, even uh, prove that this uh, bounce uh, will happen. And in this case, uh, the risk to reward ratio will be much more lucrative. So definitely it is not uh, the best setup, but you have to be very cautious with your position because uh, in a bigger scale, we still uh, forms uh, lower lows and lower highs. And this asset uh, from the technical standpoint with this breakout below the uh, major support range is quite weak. That's why you have to be very cautious. So I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack